hi everybody uh, today i'm going to show you how you can create a video loop background menu in unreal engine you can see we can play about and through it uh, play so let's start uh, please uh, subscribe my channel for more tutorial like this uh, please download the file which i give in the description you will find a video and a audio file now uh, here is our project we need to create a folder uh, we should name it movies uh, now go to the settings movies mm. we, you will see here is empty nothing like this just create one and uh, copy the uh, video file here in that folder and add it in this lo this location uh, we copy both audio and video so audio just imported if we open the uh, folder you can see here is the folder here is the video and here is the audio now save all now we should uh, create a uh, media media source name it uh, menu media source open it and just add the video in the folder file path here is our video file just add it save and I also create a media media player and name it uh, menu media player save all and open the menu media player now you see it's playing and just loop it also go to the project settings and search uh, r h i and you will see it, it would be uh, direct at 11 or 12 just make it default and restart the engine otherwise the video won't work now create a material by clicking menu media player and uh, select this and material dominion should be user interface and blend mode should be translucent edit uh, compile uh, save and apply it would take few seconds now create a widget user interface user widget and name it wb menu just open it add canvas panel Now add image, make it bigger, uh, I should name it busy, busy means background, now add the material in this image, uh, now go to event graph, we need to create a variable the variable name should be media and variable type should be media player here is media player object reference compile save uh, here is uh, media player now get it now search uh, open source add the source menu media source which we created earlier now compile and save now we need to create a level uh, empty level i name it menu also i need to create two more blueprint just uh, create a folder name it menu open it uh, blueprint class one should be game mode and i name it menu game mode make another one it should be character it name should be menu character save all open it a menu character compile and serve the open the uh, game mode and add the player in default pawn now open the menu level and even within play uh, uh, create widget and add to viewport widget should be menu 
also we will add a, a sound here play sound 2d and the sound should be the sound should be we don't create the sound queue the sound should be background here is the sound create a queue open the queue and it should be loop in save and save uh, at the background queue here is the background queue compile and save now get player controller and set show mouse cursor tick it uh, compile and save save all Now if you play, you can see the video is playing, the menu level, if you play it. Now we need to create a few buttons here. First of all, I will search vertical box. Make the size like 250 and 400. You can change the size by the way, it doesn't matter. Uh, make it alignment on HH, y axis 0.5 and x axis should be like this. Size x should be 300, y should be 500. I think it should be 270, it's fine. Now add button, add three button, uh, make it fill. Uh, duplicate it, duplicate it, we create three button. Now we must size it. It should be middle. We should change the padding. At 10 on the bottom, 20 on the bottom. At 20 on the bottom. And at 20 on the top. 20 on the bottom, 20 on the top, and 20 on the top. I think it's perfect. Now add three text, one text, two text, and third text. Now change the text name. I name it play, and size should be 50. I name it about, and size should be 50 and third one should be quit and we should add it uh, the size 50 now we should we can change the color by pressing this uh, function I, uh, I will not change it now you can change it now i name it uh, like the text uh, play about and quit uh, by changing this, we will know which button is which in event graph. Uh, compile and save. Now create three on click button function. Uh, play about and quit. Open level. Quit game. Create one player. And the level name should be this. I just copy it. If we press play button, uh, we can enter the this level. Now we don't have a about uh, uh, user interface. Just create one, duplicate, and delete all this. Just separately add a text and add a button. You can write anything in, in the text about the game, about your game. Uh, text should be this is a uh, side scrolling game. It should be like 50. Size to content, it should be middle. Alignment is 0.5, means the middle. And add a button. 
button should be here button size should be 300 and y should be 110 that should be in the bottom middle alignment should be 5 and it should be up in y axis like at minus 200 get a text here at its side should be 50 or 42 and it should be back compile and save now change the button name back back to the future now we have this when we duplicate it delete it now add remove from parent and create widget widget should be menu and add to viewport and not that add to viewport sometime mistake happen you know now we are done here compile and save copy this ctrl c and close it now go to the menu and paste it add with the about and uh, about uh, which it should be the about we're done compile and save now if we play say ball f11 if we play we will come back to the menu we can throw it and we can play the game so that is for today's tutorial bye bye everybody